Hi, I'm Dr. Maynard of Surgical Associates of Metro Atlanta here with another video. I hope that you find this informative. Um, today we're going to talk about resuming your medication after surgery. Um, I'll break this on into three parts. Uh, the general portion that most people would use, uh, specifics for the gastric sleeve, and then specifics for the duodenal switch. In general, um, all of the medication that you were taking before, you typically will have to continue taking after surgery. Um, with the sleeve or with the DS, um, there really is not a reason not to take your medication from a size standpoint. Um, we would tell you not to take more than three pills at a time, um, so you don't want to put too many things down at the same time, especially early on. But typically, once you get past that two or three week time frame, you can take your medications as you were taking before. Um, for specific medications related to uh, diabetes is one of the first ones. As you start losing weight and your diabetes gets better, uh, you may find that your medications may be too strong and they may need adjustments. We really recommend you go through your primary care to make those adjustments. Um, same thing for your hypertensive medication. For individuals that are on three or four medications, those will need to get adjusted as you lose weight. Um, typically, we recommend that you go and see a primary care in that interim period. So you see us at two weeks post-surgery. We really recommend you go and see them at about four weeks post-surgery. You see us again at six weeks post-surgery. Um, and then we recommend you go back to your PCP at about that three-month mark. That way, they can examine you. They have the data that we have as far as your vitals are concerned, and they can make those adjustments based on how you're doing weight loss wise, vitals wise, to take care of those two big ones, diabetes and hypertension. Um, for some of the other medications, sort of your thyroid medication um, and uh, different uh, medications that have to have a certain absorptive rate, there's gonna be a split between what we do for the gastric sleeve and what we do for the duodenal switch. Um, for the gastric sleeve, essentially nothing changes when it comes to the absorption of your medication. Um, so you would change really nothing for your thyroid medication or for any arthritis medications and things like that. Uh, so no real adjustment would be needed there from the surgery standpoint. So from a gastric sleeve, you and your primary care can decide what medications you need, what doses you need, what adjustments you need based on your weight getting better and your overall health getting better without really uh, much concern for the medication absorption rates that you would take. Now, separately for the duodenal switch, which is a malabsorptive surgery, and what that basically means is you do not absorb everything that you eat um, and so your medication dose may be at one level, but because you're not absor absorbing all of the medication, your effective dose or the dose that's in your bloodstream may be significantly lower than it would have been prior to your surgery with a duodenal switch. That then requires a little tighter adjustment um, than uh, with a gastric sleeve. Uh, typically, your primary care will help with that. We'll be much more involved with your primary care in making those adjustments, especially for things like your thyroid medication or any arthritis medication you have, some of your psychological medications. Um, and so based on what you're doing from a physical standpoint, um, what you're doing from an emotional standpoint with your psych meds, between your primary care, sometimes your psychiatrist may need to be involved with that part of it. Sometimes it's just thyroid medications, your endocrinologist may be involved with part of that. If it's your arthritis medication, your rheumatologist may be part of that adjustment. So we tend to do a lot more hands-on with all your providers to help get the adjustments dialed in right so you find that good balance where the medications are doing what they need to do at the right levels based on your malabsorption. Um, going further, as you 
go forward with your duodenal switch, you're just, the amount of uh, absorption goes up. And so the medications probably need to be adjusted along the way as well. Um, and that's really the difference between sort of a gastric sleeve and the duodenal switch. You do a lot more work with that, a lot more dialing needs to be done with your duodenal switch, um, and we're here to help with that. If you find this information informative, uh, please subscribe below, which helps us um, disseminate this information where others may find it useful. And if you need to make an appointment with us, uh, you can do it through our website or give us a call.